This new pope is getting ready for his new life. It comes with new robes, a new car for a man who once took public transportation, and also a new home. And years ago, we got to go behind the scenes to look at the papal residence. So tonight, come with us again as we go through the historic halls and rooms where Pope Francis will live. Under arches, through tunnels, winding back in time toward the centuries, the Apostolic Palace will be Pope Francis's new home. Until now, he chose to live in a simple, small apartment. He took public transportation, but he's about to move into the second largest palace in the world, second only to the one built for the Dalai Lama in Tibet. Now, if the Holy Father had invited you for lunch, you would go down there to his apartments at the other end of the Carter. In 2003, we got a rare glimpse into the daily life of the Pope, and our tour guide was the late Archbishop John Foley of Philadelphia, who lived in the Vatican for almost 30 years and said most people at home can't imagine a Vatican apartment. What do they mean? Do they mean a vast series of rooms or two or three rooms? Well, it is a rather large apartment, obviously. Large, but it has changed little throughout the years. Here, Pope Benedict at his desk in his modest study, religious artifacts, scholarly texts, even a TV. It's the same room we saw when Pope John Paul II gave a tour. From the office, he opens that door and you can see his bedroom, just a bed, a dresser. His bedroom is very simple. His dining room is astonishingly simple. And this was the dining room, Pope Benedict right there in the center having dinner as Pope John Paul had before. Surrounding him in the entire Apostolic Palace, 1,400 rooms, more than 1,000 staircases. And by the way, his house painter was the Renaissance master, Raphael. Before we left, I went out onto a terrace near the Pope's terrace to see roughly what he sees when he walks through the door. Walks as so many have before him. The new popes seeing a majestic sight and never more majestic than tonight.